just trying to leave a little bit of just changing the tone of these a little bit so they're not all similar and then we've got this edge here that we've just got to, to bear in mind so just got to make that quite a clear edge for the little bird's body so it just sort of comes down like that doesn't it and into these feathers that rest in there so just so that that's really clear then they're going into there okay so I'm just going to go back now with some Prussian blue and I'm just going to add a little bit of Prussian blue on the darker sides of the wings and hopefully that will just bleed out really really nicely so the sort of underneathy bits where it's overlapping I use technical words all the time Lulu mm, it's impressive yeah, isn't it <laughs> the underneathy bits Everybody knows what I'm talking about. And what happens is I'll say something in my class and I'll just get stony silence back. And then eventually <laughs> somebody will say, yes, Victoria. Which is very funny because uh, the whole room goes quiet. So I'm just adding now some um, indigo, just to get a little bit more depth of colour and interest happening. So it's just like on that side, on that side, just trying to be light as well. So just constantly referring back to your photo, just get that depth of colour in there. Okay. They're looking lovely. And then I'm just going to get a dryish brush and just move some of that colour to the centre just so that we look, we've got this, this highlight. So basically just moving some of that colour around. Yeah, that looks lovely. Okay, a little bit more indigo, I think, just on that one. But you can come back and have a fiddle with all of that, can't you? Right. Okay, let's just have a little look at his eye now, because we just need to smudge some of that colour back in. So, with a little bit of a highlight around the eye, but not so much at the top, so I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. So I'm just going to grab some of that indigo again just for the top just ever so lightly just bring some of that colour in leave some there So again, just moving some of that, that paint around and just the outside edge really, just have let, letting it feel like it fits in the eye. There, that looks better already, doesn't it? Okay, and then just having another little fiddle here, so I've just got some bits that I'm not so keen on, so I'm just going to soften those lines off a bit. Just again, moving that paint around. That nose looks okay. I'm just going to put a little bit more on that back wing. Just a little fiddle. What time are we at now, Lulu, with the video? Um, we have? 24 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, that's all right then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to fast forward lots of this, guys, won't you? So I'm just adding a little bit more depth of colour to make this back wing feel like it's behind that one so just being quite neat with that edge there will help and I'm just going to add a little bit more here
Just make these divisions a bit clearer. The underneathy bits. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? So you can you can fiddle for as long as you like with all of that. And then we're just going to get as little, just this little bit done now as well. So I'm going to go in with some Payne's Grey. And just to make this really clear where these um, these tail wings are disappearing in. It's very, very, very dark and clear in there. So I'm just putting some Payne's Grey in. There, that helps a little bit. And then a bit clearer there. And then we'll just get the idea of two little feet. See little feet there, all hunched up. Oh, <laughs> so cute. And then a little bit of cerulean blue, I think. Just the softest bit of cerulean blue, just to say that these these are these soft little feathers coming down. From his little body. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit more depth of colour in. So I'm just gonna go with a little bit more ultramarine blue. Just, just to make that look a little bit darker and a little bit more interesting. Just there. Just coming around like that. So I just, I just put a little bit more colour in then with a damp brush. I could just move that colour around. I'm just going to put a little bit more Prussian blue. Under his throat there. Just to make that head feel separate from the rest of it. That's better. And then maybe a little bit of indigo as well. Just so that it's ever so dark under there. Just to give that a division of that throat. Like that. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's amazing how all these little bits, all these little fiddly bits, can really, really help just give a bit more shape. Just soften that up a bit there. And I'm just going to do a little bit more on his back, just so that we're really clear. This is this wing here, and then this is his little back. There we are. A bit more, maybe. So if you just add little bits at a time, then you don't need to worry about, it's a very, very slow painting this, you don't need to worry about ruining it. You can just keep adding more and more to it. I'm just gonna put a little bit more paint gray in there, just so that that back just feels connected here. There, like that, that's better. Yeah, okay, so let's have a look at our other birds, see how they're different. Not that much different, but you know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, sometimes it's good for me not to look what I've painted before because then I don't copy that slavishly. Okay, so I mean, on this one, I've got a lot more blue in the wings actually at the top, which, which is fine. And, and I've put a little bit more of a pattern in there, which we can do um, with this one, just simply getting some um, Prussian blue. And just adding, you know, just a few little feathers in. Just a little bit more texture. Yeah. Okay, so the flowers are really, really simple. And uh, just going to use a bigger brush now. So I'm just going to wet the area. Like we've done recently with our irises and whatever else we've done, cornflowers in the past, haven't we? Um, so wetting the corn area. Flower. Cornflowers, yeah. <laughs> the blue flowers. Oh, I guess. Um, and then just using um, cadmium red, or if you've got a rose, wh whatever colour you've got, and it doesn't even have to be red, it can be blue flowers. You know, just having the idea of this is this is the shape of my flower, like that, and then maybe some 
dangly ones a bit like that that are closed and maybe this bird is coming in to get a flower so maybe some of it can be a hard line some of it can be you know um on wet on wet so like that um and then popping in the yellow the same yellow that we used for the um for the bird but let's get some yellow in an idea of that and then while it's still wet an idea of the green as well the green leaves that are bleaching everywhere and then maybe we want to add a little bit of indigo to those green leaves as well but just also it's all just softly merging a little bit of indigo just to give them a little bit more interest a little bit of green on this flower here So, and then allow that to dry a little bit and then you can layer up and put some of the flowers over the top and, you know, fill it, fill, put, put as much as you want on there um, and that's that. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching Lulu and mine's first video. So I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can say hi to Lulu, oh, our brilliant, <laughs> our, our brilliant video maker. <laughs> And um, and that's it. So I really hope that I can see all your beautiful results online soon. I will I will get in touch about how we're going to uh, sort out an online platform as well. But that's it. I think we can get it in now like that. Okay, that's it. That's our lovely hummingbird. So thank you so much for watching. And stay safe and um, I will see you again.